I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Great Atlantic Resources, which has been active in the central Newfoundland gold belt since 2016, continues to add to its property portfolio in the area. During 2020, the company was fortunate to stake another five mineral licenses, totaling 5,025 hectares when they became available. Three licenses border the company's Golden Promise property, which hosts multiple gold-bearing quartz veins and quartz vein systems, while two licenses are located east of the Golden Promise property. Anomalous gold in soil and or rock samples is reported within and or adjacent to these new mineral licenses. The 1,525 hectare Lynx Pond property, located approximately 12 kilometers to the east, was staked to cover the area of a reported high-grade gold-bearing rock sample, reported gold soil geochemical anomalies with a pyrite gold mineral occurrence reported in the southern region of the property. A 2004 quartz float sample from the central region of the property reportedly returned 17 grams per tonne gold, 52 grams per tonne silver, 1.74% copper and more than 1% antimony. A 2004 soil sample from the east region of the property reportedly returned an anomalous value of 0.083 parts per million gold. A 500 hectare Coronation Lake property located approximately 14 kilometers to the southeast was staked to cover reported gold soil geochemical anomalies and two gold silver molybdenum copper mineral occurrences. Two gold silver molybdenum copper mineral occurrences are reported within the property, the Coronation Lake South No. 1 and Coronation Lake South No. 2 occurrences. A 1975 diamond drill hole was reported to intersect near surface intervals with anomalous gold including 0.86 grams per ton gold over a 0.91 meter core length. A float sample from 1975 reportedly returned 0.51 grams per tonne gold, 0.65% copper and 0.25% molybdenum. Three 2005 soil samples were reported to return highly anomalous values of 0.43 parts per million gold, 0.152 parts per million gold and 0.112 parts per million gold. The 1,125 hectare East Golden Promise property located adjacent to the eastern region of the Golden Promise property was staked to cover areas of reported gold-bearing rock samples including two float samples reported to return 0 0.40 and 0 0.41 grams per ton gold. The 1,425 hectare West Golden Promise property is located adjacent to the western region of the Golden Promise property. Gold anomalies of up to 54 parts per billion gold were reported for 2,005 humus samples within the property, with a 2,005 soil sample collected within 100 meters of the eastern boundary of the property, reportedly returning a highly anomalous value of 0.559 parts per million gold. The 450 hectare South Golden Promise property is located adjacent to the south of the Golden Promise property. The Gabro Zone Gold occurrence is located approximately 760 meters north of the property within the company's original Golden Promise property reportedly returned a highly anomalous value of 0.388 parts per million gold from a 2008 soil sample just 113 meters north of the border of the new South Golden Promise property. The company's five new properties, along with its Golden Promise, Southwest Golden Promise and Golden Trust properties, are all located within a region of recent significant gold discoveries. These properties are located within the exploit subzone of the Newfoundland Dunnage Zone. Recent significant gold discoveries within the exploit subzone include those of Marathon Gold Corp at the Valentine Gold Project, Sokoman Minerals Corp at the Moosehead Gold Project, and Newfound Gold Corp at the Queen Queensway project. Viewers are warned that mineralization at the Valentine Gold Project, Moosehead Gold Project and Queensway Project is not necessarily indicative of mineralization on Great Atlantic's properties in this region. Great Atlantic, with a number of properties in the Atlantic provinces, is utilizing a project generation model with a special focus on critical elements which are prominent in Atlantic Canada, such as antimony, tungsten and gold.
The shares are trading at 55 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, greatatlanticresources.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO at 604-488-3900 or email office at greatatlanticresources.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.